hi guys welcome back to fairies tutorials food nutrition and health csec past paper question for the exam year 2022 and in today's episode we're focusing on question two it reads state two functions of food in the body two marks name the deficiency disease that could occur as a result of an inappropriate intake of each of the following nutrients vitamin a vitamin c iron and iodine kendra is an anemic adolescent who has planned the following breakfast menu chocolate milk callaloo or spinach with scrambled eggs toasted bread and coffee Gito recently suffered a stroke as a result of hypertension and heart disease he was diagnosed with diabetes plan a lunch menu which is suitable for Gito look at this question in a little bit more detail state two functions of food in the body i'll provide you with four one provides the body with energy two food satisfy hunger three food provides the body with nutrients and also food aids in growth and development next question Name the deficiency disease that could occur as a result of an inappropriate intake of each of the following nutrients. Now, when we speak about deficiency disease, we are referring to those illnesses that occur because you may be lacking in one or more nutrient, right? Now, the nutrients that you're supposed to state the deficiency disease for are vitamin a vitamin c iron and iodine now let's take a look at the answers a deficiency in vitamin a can cause night blindness and this is where the retinol ceases to make visual purple and that help persons to see better at night time so as the name suggests night blindness if the diet is lacking in vitamin a during the night time persons are not able to see as well right now a severe uh, deficiency can also lead to total blindness as well vitamin c the deficiency disease for that is scurvy and scurvy is a soaring of the gums where you may find that wounds may be harder to heal or gums burst open right so that is why it is important for us to ensure that we are having adequate amount of diet that meet our requirements or our needs the next uh nutrient is iron and a deficiency of iron in the diet can lead to someone having iron deficiency anemia next one is iodine and the illness there deficiency disease is goiter and this is a swelling of the thyroid gland our next question kendra is an anemic adolescent who has planned the following menu right and this is a breakfast menu so kendra is anemic which means what she was lacking in the mineral which nutrient iron good now she's an adolescent plus she's a female and she's anemic therefore her diet should be rich in what if i'm hearing iron you're correct and also vitamin c why because it's aids absorption very good now your task is to suggest three adjustments that should be made to the menu based on kendra's condition and state one reason for each adjustment suggested let's take a look at the menu so we see chocolate milk callaloo or spinach and scrambled eggs toasted bread and coffee can you look at the menu and tell 
what is wrong based on Kendra's nutritional requirements, right? So we have established that she needs iron and vitamin C in her diet. Now, what do you notice with some of those items? What would you change? Do you think the chocolate milk is okay? Do you think the spinach and kalaloo is okay with the scrambled eggs? Because they contain certain levels of iron. How about the toasted bread and the coffee? All right, let us look at the three adjustments that she should make, right? And this is just three. I know you can probably find many more after analyzing and assessing or evaluating the menu. So first suggestion that we have here, Kendra could replace the chocolate milk with a beverage or fruit that is rich in vitamin C, such as a citrus juice or a citrus fruit. Now, when we talk about citrus, we're speaking about the oranges, the tangerine, the grapefruit, lemon, etc., right? Now, the reason for replacing the chocolate milk is that the chocolate milk is rich in calcium. And what calcium does is to inhibit or prevent the proper absorption of iron, right? So that's our first suggestion. Suggestion two, Kendra could include a heme iron source in her breakfast, such as chicken liver, right? So even though she has a uh, kalaloo and spinach, which are good sources of iron, but they are non-heme sources, which mean that they may take a longer time to, to absorb or they're more likely to be inhibited by substances right whereas heme iron which is from the animal source absorb into our bloodstream faster and more let us say rapidly we should say or or of a better word more efficiently then or effectively right i said that kendra should replace coffee and the reason for that is uh coffee also contains caffeine which inhibits iron absorption so we have to be very careful of the items that we pair but that may be beverages or hot beverages or any form of um, foods that are rich in certain nutrients such as the calcium or we pair them with iron because that will prevent them from absorbing right so some enzymes and substances that are found in different types of food will prevent certain nutrients no the suggestion is she could choose another hot beverage it could be lemon tea where she uses lemon slices and um, steep that to create a uh, tea some cases uh, persons who are not anemic but want their iron to be absorbed readily can have their beverage if they wish to have coffee like an hour before they they eat or or after however we could not recommend that for kendra and the reason is she is already anemic right so we have to get rid of all the inhibitors that are in the diet because it may be stored and in her system for some time and that will prevent the iron from being absorbed so she could replace it with a tea that is rich in uh vitamin even though vitamin c may be destroyed by the heat uh, what as a water soluble, soluble vitamin but what is best is some form of rich vitamin juice that will help to um will work along with the iron to better able the absorption of the nutrient right other things that are rich in vitamin c maybe like kiwi strawberries etc but in mostly in our tropical region you know you'll find citrus fruits in surplus and then that is best to pair with this breakfast next state one reason for each adjustment suggested now the first adjustment we had we said kendra could replace the chocolate milk with a beverage or fruit that is rich in vitamin c such as a citrus fruit for or maybe a citrus juice or kiwi slices no the reason for that is the calcium in the chocolate milk will inhibit iron absorption 
Now, additionally, the oxalate that is found in chocolate will impair the absorption of the non-heme iron, which is spinach or the callaloo, right? Next suggestion we had, Kendra could include a heme iron source in her breakfast, such as chicken liver. And the reason for that is protein from animal sources has a better quality of iron source, which is a heme iron, which is in better absorption, right? And just as how you have complete proteins and incomplete proteins and proteins of high biological value and low biological value, just the same with iron. They are in two categories. They are the heme and the non-heme sources. And the heme source is better for us because it's a better iron quality and it is absorbed better into our bloodstream. All right, three. Kendra could replace coffee with another hot beverage that promotes iron absorption, such as lemon tea. And the reason for that is the caffeine in coffee will inhibit the absorption of iron. So that is why we want her to stay away from that coffee. Now, for the chocolate milk, she could have added a fruit, for example, some kiwi slices or strawberry slices. And then for the drink, then she could have, instead of the coffee, then she could have like orange juice and then she will have her tea later on, like an hour or two after or before. All right, next question. G2 recently suffered a stroke as a result of hypertension and heart disease. He was also diagnosed with diabetes. Plan a lunch menu which is suitable for G2. Now, let's just take a time to pause and reflect on G2 conditions, right? So, he has suffered a stroke. He has hypertension, heart disease, and also diabetes. Now, he had the stroke, meaning that it's a possibility that he's not as active, right? We're not sure how severe the stroke was, but let's say maybe that he was he is now bedridden he's not able to move around as freely as uh before right so therefore we would want to limit carbohydrate right there and then because he's not as active as before now as it relates to hypertension we would want to cut out sodium and we would also want to cut out fatty fatty foods and with heart disease we want to promote uh would want to promote fiber items as well. And with the diabetes, we want to cut down the sugar. We want to cut down the refined um, starches and sugar. All right. Now, let us look at some suggested lunch menu that he could have. So, the first one here we have is whole wheat wrap with grilled chicken breast and vegetables. And if you notice, we're getting the fiber from the whole wheat and also the vegetables. The grilled chicken breast is a good choice because it has used a healthy method of cooking, which is grilled. And plus it's the breast, which is the least fatty part of the chicken as well, right? Then he could pair that with watermelon juice. Nothing added, just the juicer to extract the juice and that's it. Or he could have water. Our next option he could have is tuna and vegetable salad with some water. He could also have green salad with quinoa and low fat dressing now the quinoa there is high in fiber likewise with the vegetable salad they're high in, in fiber low in fats and starch and also will promote um good dietary fiber he could also have baked fish fillet and vegetable sandwich and whole grain bread carrot juice and water and as we said carrot juice no added sugar anything just use the juicer and get the natural juice you could also have chicken and vegetable soup and some water there as well now what do you notice about these menus right they are low in starch they try to use whole grain a lot of vegetables healthy cooking methods and things that are low in sodium okay and that is it guys awesome you've made it to the end of the session please remember to subscribe turn on your post notification bells so you can be notified when there is another upload 
Most importantly, share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it fairest to tour all.